Okay, so let's look at another Pak Sao exercise, but let's slow it down a little bit. So what we're gonna do is you're just gonna do strength and structure. So your partner is gonna put some pressure on you here. Yeah, so like some straight arm pressure and force here. I'm going to first use my strength system. So you're gonna actually just go across here so you can start to get a feeling for your structure. So that's what this exercise is for. So first, I push with muscle force. You can give me more pressure than that. Um, push with muscle force. Feel how that feels. I feel my body pushing against Carlson, you know, through my shoulder, bicep, even my hips and my legs are starting to activate. Now I center myself, so Tai Gong, feel my center, sense my whole structure. And now from here, I sense my structure as I let the joints rotate. So my shoulder joint turns, my elbow joint hinges and opens up to do the movement as well. So then once again, center, structure, I use my structure to move, yeah? So, this is a really simple exercise. We'll do it once again. Carson, can we go facing the camera? It starts in the pucks out position. So like from the form, yeah, you can start from approximately around the chest level. And from here, he's going to start with strength and feel what that feels like in his body from a strength perspective, yeah? Okay, relax. And then strength again. Feel the, now this is actually really useful because you know for the next exercise, which muscles you should be releasing and you use centering and sensing your structure to do that. So you ignore the muscles to a degree and you activate the structure via intention and the placement of the sensing energy into your structure. If you'd like to, you can also visualize if you find that more helpful too. So Carson now centers, senses his structure and now he moves more from that joint rotation concept we were talking about earlier. Yeah, good. Pretty feels, you know, you know, five times more powerful, yeah. Good. So that's a really simple one you can do um, with a partner, with someone putting, pushing force on. If you don't have a partner, once again, go back to your friendly wall, yeah? So Carlson is a wall. And you can just go strength on the wall, strength on the wall, and then, oh sorry, wrong movement, fucks out. Strength on the wall, so if it's a wall, I'd probably have to be more, you might have to be a bit more angled. Strength on the wall, strength on the wall, and the wall probably wouldn't move, yeah, and then, yeah, structure on the wall, yeah. Structure on the wall. On the so, wall, so I'm moving. So imagine you're a wall, yeah? Yeah. Um, and the difference I feel when I do structure, if I just do it to a lower degree so I can get the experience in my body, um, is that I feel it to my feet. I feel it less pushing back on the muscular tension in my system, and I feel it more like it's going between my feet and back to him. So use the wall if you haven't got uh, a friend, and I forgot in the last video um, to mention, uh, yeah, use your imaginary friend for your chain puck hours and your puck, puck, puck punch as well. Okay, once again, pressure to the community, and I'll see you in our next video. Thank you.